Hey, but first of all, please press on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon on YouTube app and never miss another update. Hi guys, this is TechGirl007. I hope you're doing great. So today I've come up with this new video to show you guys on how to set up your printer all from the beginning. So yeah, just a disclaimer, it is for people who don't know how to use their printers or how to set them up. So it's just for complete beginners. Yeah, so no negative comments. All right, so let's go ahead to, and see how we do this. All right, so your printer should come with two types of cables. All right, so there would be one for the power that would look like that and then push it in and just press it. And then the next one, if you don't want to be using it as a wireless printer, um, you can use it as a corded printer, so this should come as well. There are some times where this cable will not come, but obviously you can just buy it. It would just be 99p on a, in a pound land, you know, you can just buy it from there. It doesn't matter, it's just a wire, so just whack. Yeah. The printer that I'm showing you guys the uh, tutorial for is the Epson XP645. Okay, so let's go ahead and look what's around it. So at the top, you've got your scanning bit and then and here you've got a screen a display screen that will that you can obviously play around with over here for this printer it can differ on different printers over here it's uh, basically to also when you're printing you slide this out and then it should bring up uh, it should feed the paper and then it will just uh, come out from here then after that you've got this other bit which is for let's like, say envelopes and uh, like a5 paper or anything that you want to uh, print uh, obviously you have to uh, change the settings and that's another video that if you want you guys want me to show you guys enough to do that I'll, I'll be able to do so and then you've got this bottom bit where you put the paper all right uh, the one thing that I like about this printer is that I don't have to put the paper all the way over here um, on the back it's just convenient to just put it just inside the printer just underneath and um, so that it doesn't show and it's not like muddle up when it's trying to um, I don't know take in the paper or feed it in because sometimes it does get stuck when it's uh, at the back there I don't know for some reason it just gets stuck and it's also very 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 easy to just get other stuff stuck inside it so like for example if you've got a your printer on a lower level than your um, computer you might just spill things on on it or maybe you get your pin stuck to it if they fall down and then that's it your printer is gone if you don't have any extra warranty for it that's it then all right so that's what's inside the printer oh yeah and last but not least for this bit in here you can also put like cds and then write on cds that's a really great option to have it's just an extra feature that not all the printers come with all right okay so and i'll show you how to start the setup bit all right all right make sure that your printer is connected to the power socket and then you want to just lift this bit up and press the power button for it to turn on All right, now we're gonna zoom into this little window so that we could see what we are doing. First of all, we are going to connect to the Wi-Fi. So it's gonna be our home Wi-Fi that we usually use and um, go into the settings to find out what it needs. So the way we connect to Wi-Fi is by going to the settings itself. Okay, so go to the settings. Here is the settings in here. You wanna be pressing the left arrow to go there and then you wanna press okay. And now in here it says Wi-Fi recommended. Okay, we know that. You just want to say okay to proceed and then it says you can print wirelessly from computers and devices via Wi-Fi. That's fine. It's just information that it's given us. And then you want to be saying uh, there's two options in here. So uh, Wi-Fi setup wizard and also push button setup. Um, we're going to go on to where it says Wi-Fi setup wizard. So it's already selected. So you just want to press okay. And now it's searching for the network. So my network is called, or my internet name is called Wireless Connection Talk Talk uh, 186BFF. So that's for me. Obviously, it would be different for you guys. You have to obviously look behind your um, router to see what's yours called. And then underneath that, you should find your password. And, and then after finding what your uh, Wi Fi name is, you just want to say OK. And in here, you have to put your password in and then so for example there's if it's got a capital letter you have to uh, obviously select the capitals and then uh, on the lower case you have to select the lower and then you've got the numbers over here just I don't know go back and forward and then change it and then go back that will just change so as you see now it's selected the uppercase and all the letters in here is uppercase then when you select the lowercase all of them suddenly change to lowercase and then if you want to enter numbers you just go into the numbers and then just press ok and that should do it for you and after that once you've finished it 
you then you want to come to where it says uh, done and then press ok i'm not going to be entering any anything on my display because i've already done that so it's just for demonstration purposes only i'm just going to go back um to the home page itself okay so that's all for the um network side of things now on the pc you want to set it up as well so it's very easy you don't have to install a lot of things a lot of softwares and stuff because it has made it so easier now for all the wireless printers all right guys so i'm using windows 10 to set up the printer on my computer okay so what you want to do is you want to go to the left bottom side of the screen and then press there and here on the search bar you should say printers and at the top uh, it will come um, the option for printers and scanners you just want to click on there and you see in here it says add a printer or scanner you want to press add and it's just searching but obviously because I've done it before uh, selected what are available so for wireless connection now if you want to press on that it says add device so notice that it is the printer that I'm uh, tried to connect which I showed you obviously on the video previously uh, it's the XP640 series just want to say add device and that should be setting it up all for you okay so I have opened a word document and I've written hi on it so obviously you can uh, print any document that you've already written previously you can just open it as such and uh, print it so to print a document you can either go shortcut by pressing ctrl and p at the same time and then uh, you just say ok or it'll just directly take it to the printer and print it off otherwise uh, you can go on to the top left hand side where it says file then you want to click on that you want to say print and in here uh, you've got a few options it would if you only just uh, installed your printer just now by default it will be selecting something else such as Microsoft or print to PDF or whatever uh, and then you have to select it manually like press on it or and then this tick should be on the left hand side of it to say that you've selected this printer so obviously this printer that we have just set up and then after that as you can see in here uh, it says ready that means it's ready to print you just want to then press print and now let's go to the printer to see if it's printing so yep all right so as soon as uh, i press the uh, printing option or the selected the print uh, button it has come with this um page where it says open the output tray manually and the, what that means is you know the that tray that i showed you before for printing output you have to get down to the printers um, bits in here and then you wanna just get this out okay and as soon as I did that see what's happening it has already started printing so as you can see alright so as you can see it has printed what we wanted that little hi that we had yay that's it then for this video i hope you liked the video don't forget to subscribe like and share my video and obviously comment down below if you had any problems i should be able to reply to you as soon as i can thank you bye